Hello and welcome to Dimsy's Domain. We're going to be talking about number three for Yusaku's reasons to continue and go further and never lose. And this was to meet the person that gave him courage. Now, if you want to find out more about number one and number two, go over to BYG Aigami's channel where we've done a video talking about and extensively reviewing and analyzing our predictions and just our thought processes regarding our what we may think that is going to be for number one and how number two plays into it and number two we'll we'll briefly touch upon that but the link is in the description down below check it out subscribe to him and he's also my guest today now number two is all about Kusanagi's brother and freeing him from the darkness and why is that important because we spoke about how hey why if Yusaku was also in the same or a similar predicament where he was in enshrouded in darkness and he was looking for a way to escape and just help himself and just in general he was saved and who was he saved by and this is where it builds up and leads into number three this person saved Yusaku from the darkness however Kusunagi's brother was not saved but he needs to be saved and this is why they want to endeavor to kind of free him so who do you reckon is going to be but before that let's give a warm welcome to BYG Aigami make sure to subscribe to him subscribe to the Facebook page as well as the Twitter just in general if you are a true fan and if you are a hardcore fan of Yu-Gi-Oh! Reigns <laughs> do all of those above and yeah do you want to say hello Yo, what's up, everyone? And guys, leave a like on this video and comment down below what your guys' thoughts are on number three and who this person could be. So in Yu-Gi-Oh! Reigns episode two titled Catch the Wind, Storm Axis, when Yusaku says to, make, to meet the person who gave me courage, there's a flashback of him as a child and he turns around and the person states, hey, you, and it's a girl's voice. So we can already eliminate the fact that it isn't a male, it's a female. And there's only one character that comes to mind that we have yet to see in Yu-Gi-Oh! Reigns and that's going to be making an appearance in episode 3 and that's Emma. Emma Beso. Now what are your mm. thoughts on that, Dimsy? See, here's the thing. I try my best to avoid all and every spoiler so I have no clue who Emma is. I know that there's a woman in the ending scenes and in the opening and she has this little moonlight little hairstyle and it looks quite cool but I have no clue who, who Emma is. I don't know what kind of character I should expect from her. We don't, so. The thing is, we don't know. She's she was marketed like Aigami in the way in the sense of Aigami was marketed as the character the mysterious character that holds the key to the story Emma Besso was literally marketed as the mysterious woman okay that's all we know about her but we also know that in VR she's a ninja and that's basically it that's very interesting because of the fact that just when they did because this is the second time I think maybe third because they done twice in the second episode and we only got one short scene we had a music score that complemented complimented when we saw a scene of Yusaku as a kid and we saw we heard a female voice so and that's very mysterious so if we have this mysterious character it can really do it can really play into his character very very well now why is this important and why does it be a massive crux for the story is the fact that Yusaku's personality has been established it seems like yes he, he can move forward and become mature more mature in terms of his personality and the way he approaches things but compared to the other protagonists he has a very established personality which seems like it's come from a lot of experience and a lot of dark times and that is very similar to you say but it makes me very interested and excited for what is more to come with Yusaku's character and how the other characters interact and shape him as a person. In If anything, I'll be honest with you, Yusaku comes across as a bloody Bruce Wayne for this series so far. And if that is the case where he's such a dual identity, like a dual personality character, it can only be interesting because he's going to have dras drastically different drastically different interactions and tones of interactions between each character between him and blue angel between him and go onuzuka between him and N naoki it's just something to really look forward to and note down earlier because it's a checkpoint and it's gonna have a very good payoff what's your thoughts regarding if it is an emma it could it be someone else and how it plays into the story forward what's your prediction if anything I think that it possibly could be Emma, but at the same time, I think it could be 
very similar to Gorzeburu Kaiba, but, mm. you know, not the Gorzeburu Kaiba methods, such as, you know, abusing Seto, altering him into a insane maniac. Rather, when we can sort of assume that Yusaku doesn't have parents simply because of that scene from the number one reason. And what I think is that there's someone that came into Yusaku's life, yeah. possibly a mother figure, a father figure, whoever it might be. Kusanagi, for all we know, maybe he sounded like a girl when he was younger. Maybe comes and helps him out, and the thing is that what happens is someone took that away from Yusaku. S- someone probably took that mother father figure away. Or sister, and that's, could be a sister. Yeah, could a be an sister, older sister. Yeah, for all we know, and that's the reason why Yusaku's after them. He's trying to meet the person that gave him courage. Or maybe one thing that could happen is the fact that. After they saved him, they just left. And that's why you see him as a baby. And it's, I'm just going to end it on this. If you want to give me all of your fan theories and your your thought processes, put them down below. Because BYG Aigami on his channel has an excellent series called Fan Theory Friday. Where your comments might be highlighted if you comment it on the comment section of our videos or on the Facebook page. So make sure to do that and just get involved and be part of the community. This is one of the best communities. I'm telling you right now, I am a part of the Dragon Ball community and the Digimon community but the Yu-Gi-Oh community is so intelligent and it's just simply very heartwarming and I just enjoy it I enjoy the anime side I enjoy the card game side and with that being said I will end this video let's not get too sappy so make sure to like share subscribe to BYJ Aigami subscribe to do this and yeah you may now exit Dimsy's domain thank you and goodbye